What's up, Guerreros? How you guys doing? A lot of people are hitting me up. Hey, big dog, how do I get my kid to start a fitness journey, to uh, start working out with me? You know, he don't want to work out with me. How do I get him to play sports? The thing about it is that I went through that shit myself. Some kids, they are going to do it out of, out of respect, you know, but, you know, most of them, you got to fucking pretty much lead by example. You know why? Because... Even if they do it, they're not gonna do it with heart. I had my kids, you know, playing sports, you know, football, basketball, baseball, you know, and another problem is that we're trying to live through our kids what we wanted to do in the past, and that's not gonna happen either because I did it uh, for many years, and most of the time, you know, they, they didn't even wanna play that sport, you know? You have to let them know that they have to do something, but most of the time, you cannot force them to do you know, something that they don't want to do. Why? Because they have to have the passion for it. You know, they have to have something that interests them, you know, and that was one of my mistakes that I did, you know, making them play all the sports that I never played, you know, that I wasn't able to do. I was trying to live my childhood through them and, you know, they did it, you know, but I seen that, you know, a lot of times they didn't put their effort because they didn't even want to play that sport. So I fucking check myself and pretty much let them pick what they wanted to do. And then we focused on that. You can't push them to do something that they don't want to do, especially if you're not doing it, especially if you don't have the results. And then later on, I wanted them to lift weights with me. You know, I wanted them to work out, but I got a reality check. You know, I didn't have the results yet, you know, and I was getting on my youngest son and I told him, hey man, you better fucking get, get in it and fucking start working out. You know, you don't want to fucking be strong and shit. And he looked at me and he's all like, well, not really, dad, you know, fucking, you're kind of chubby, you know? Back then I was like 235 pounds, just fucking fat buff. It hit me hard, you know, I laughed about it, you know, I didn't fucking tell him nothing because he was uh, telling the truth, you know? He didn't want to fucking be like me. So if that was the results that I was getting from fucking working out, then fuck, he wasn't going to do that because, you know, his vision was uh, different. He didn't want to look like me, so... Till I changed that, till I fucking came to uh, realize that, hey, you know what? You gotta fucking lead by example. So I started fucking working out. Once I got the results, once they seen that, fuck, my pops got a fucking six pack at 40 years old, it was a game changer for them. They came and asked me. They started working out. They started getting pumped up. They started tracking their food. My oldest son was like, what the fuck? How is that? My best advice that I could give you parents out there is that you got to get the results first. You got to fucking level yourself in that area that you want your son to follow. Because uh, other than that, you know, they're not going to listen. You know, they're just going to fucking uh, do what they want to do. Or it's just going to be a conflict between you guys because you're going to force them to do something that you're not even doing. You know, that do as I say, don't do as I say, uh, do bullshit is fucking long gone. We don't use that no more. You know, this is 2022. So we got to fucking come in correct. And uh, we, like I said, we got to lead by example. This program here helped me a lot with patience, understanding and comprehending that, you know, for you to teach someone or for you to uh, want somebody to change, you have to be that example. You have to have the results. Hypothetical is hypocritical. Why? Because a lot of people are out there just speaking on shit that they never even done before. They're, they're over there fucking trying to pump you up. And then you look at them and you're like, fuck, well, you don't even have the results. Why are you even talking like that? So you're not going to listen to him. I'm not going to listen to that motherfucker because, you know, he's just talking out of his ass. Especially if he fucking don't have the results in that fucking area that I want to fucking go and uh, seek, you know? So always consider that. So... What makes you think they're going to listen to you? That's my best advice that I could give for you parents out there. You know, just lead by example, you know, make it exciting, make it motivating, and uh, they'll follow suit. Let's get it.